The connection between astronomy and monumental architecture is an important element for the interpretation of hundreds of archaeological sites, as we shall soon see. But why? First, we must understand that in ancient times the sky was linked to the management of power. In fact, the connection between astronomy and power arises from the fact that human beings need a worldview, or cosmos, a frame of, of notions, social structures, religious beliefs, in which they can accommodate their own existence so to feel safe and comfortable. A fundamental point of any worldview is to put order in space and time. Space and time are, in fact, of course, natural concepts. But the flow of time and the structure of space need to be adapted to the human existence. Space typically becomes ordered in the human's mind once the four cardinal directions have been identified. And this operation is connected to astronomy since ancient used the motion of the Sun and other stars to find the cardinal points. Time becomes ordered as well when the natural cycles have been framed and regulated through the use of a suitable calendar. Again, astronomy is fundamental to this aim either for the establishment of a solar or lunar calendar or for the timing of activities, ritual or agricultural, by using the stars. Further, any worldview needs, besides order and time framing, also a key to what inexplicable and the hope for afterlife. Therefore, religion is also connected to nature and natural cycles and in particular to the sky. Typically, temporal power was the warrant of such a cosmic order, the keeper of the relationship between humans and nature. As a consequence, it was directly connected with the sky in uncountably many cultures. For example, many Egyptian pharaohs considered themselves sons of the sun god or even identified with him. The Inca rulers claimed to descend directly by the sun and the appearance of a star, a comet actually, was used by Augustus to declare the divinity of his father Caesar and consequently of himself. Establishing a cultural memory, assuring the stability of the worldview and therefore of power, requires the construction of monumental architecture. Monumental architecture was therefore introduced in most cultures as an explicit representation of power and due to the connection between religion, power and nature, it usually incorporated a series of symbolic references to the sky. It is here that astronomy comes into play with a mechanism which was first clearly described by the historian of religion Mircea Eliad. The Hierophany. Hierophany, meaning the sacred reveals itself, is an explicit manifestation of the sacred, of a god, of a message from a god, or also of a divine aspect of nature. Architecture is the means by which hierophanies are brought to the highest level of emotional participation, and astronomy is the tool for engineering such events. Consider, for example, a building aligned with the sun that rises or sets in a particular direction. On the correct dates, the sunlight will penetrate in otherwise dark corridor, renewing an appointment with the divine, which was fixed by the architect at the moment of planning of the building. This is an example of spectacular events that occur regularly. These events can be divided into three main groups. Hierophany is directly related to symbols of temporal power with a sacred value, like, for instance, the Hierophany occurring in the Pantheon on the day of the mythical foundation of Rome. Manifestations of the renewal of a god's power in line with natural cycles, like the alignment to the winter solstice sunrise of Karnak's temple in Egypt. Or, the light and shadow effect, which simulates a serpent at the equinoxes at Chichen Itza. 
symbols of renewal relating to the afterlife as the alignment of the New Grange megalithic tomb, Ireland, or the Akhet Hierophany occurring at Giza, Egypt. All these examples will be discussed in details in the forthcoming lessons. In many cases, the stars in the sky and the astronomically oriented monuments on the ground have to be considered only as elements of a more complex scenario, which can be called a sacred landscape. A sacred landscape can be the result of the addition of subsequent monuments during centuries, as occurred for the tombs of the pharaohs in the pyramid fields of ancient Egypt. Or, a site can become sacred because it has special characteristics, like, for instance, geological or topographical features, as occurred for the most important pilgrimage center of the Greek world, Delphi. Music